Now at 5.30, Elian Gonzalez is reflecting on the custody battle that defined him. The newly released CNN interview comes as the network gets ready to premiere a documentary about the international incident. CBS4 anchor Eugene Ramirez has more. In a CNN interview, 23-year-old Elian Gonzalez sits next to his father. 17 years ago, his mother died at sea, bringing him to the United States. An international custody battle followed, putting the boy between his father in Cuba and family living in Miami. Miami's Cuban community rallied to keep him here. I think I would have become the poster boy for that group of Cubans in Miami that tries to destroy the revolution, says Gonzalez, adding he may have had more money but wouldn't have the family, friends and tranquility he has in Cuba. The custody battle ended as federal agents took the boy and returned him to Cuba. Now 23 years old, he lives in the town of Cardenas. Both my feet are very much in Cuba. My two feet, my body, my mind are in Cuba. But there are times when I think about the United States. I wouldn't be who I am had I not been in the United States. The U.S. is still home to the family who wanted to keep him in Miami. Elian's father hopes to someday make amends. Sí, como no. Eh, en este caso, las mejores intenciones tengo de, de perdonarlo. De... I have the best intentions to forgive them so that it can continue to be a relationship of families. They with their ideals and we with ours. A separation of ideals, Elian says his story showed the world should take a back seat to blood. Le demostró a tanto a los familiares de Cuba. It showed so many families in the U.S. and Cuba that you don't have to mix politics and money with family. Elian Gonzalez also addressed the Trump administration's approach towards U.S.-Cuba relations, calling it a, quote, pity. In the newsroom, I'm Eugene Ramirez, CBS 4 News.